Atchison High School. A part of the USD 409 district, it provides secondary education for approximately 400 teenagers living in the Atchison area. As with any learning institution, there is a hierarchy of responsibility. A network of administrators oversees the daily needs of the faculty and students. The most public face of the group is the principal. Meet Mr. Covey, the current principal at Atchison High School. Though many people in the community recognize his position, not many could name the responsibilities he faces each day. We decided to explore what this authority figure actually does each day. Today, Mr. Covey started off his day by talking with the counselors. First, he visited Miss Martin's office. She oversees the school's Lunch of Champions, a program that allows well-performing students to receive a special meal once a semester. Yesterday's lunch was a success, with several students involved with the school's musical offering entertainment to those dining, in addition to the faculty present. Mr. Covey decided to stop by Miss Duncan's office to chat with them about the Lunch of Champions. <laughs> also there was Miss Sugar. Miss Sugar is the counselor for the juniors and seniors at the high school. Miss Duncan is the officer for Students Advocate Prevention Officer, or in other words, the school's court liaison. <laughs> On his way out of the office, he stopped to have a chat with the librarian at the school, Ms. Donaldson. Then he continued to make his rounds, including going to the library to have a good discussion with the student. Mr. Covey feels it's important to balance the relationships between his faculty, his administrators, and his students, which often can be a very difficult thing, balancing it with life and work. Covey also jokingly stated that he is the litter monitor at the high school. After he makes his rounds, Covey returns back to his office to do a, a few odd tasks before he goes to the school board office. Mr. Covey has worked here for six and a half years now, and he plans on working here till his retirement. Even after retirement, Covey intends to stick around and continue to do things for this district. He jokingly has said before that if he doesn't have anything to do while all retired, he will go insane. On our way down to the school board office, Mr. Covey talked to us about a new bullying policy that he will be discussing with Dr. Susan Myers, the superintendent at USD 409. It happens. And it is something we fight constantly because it's there and you'll never get rid of it I mean you know we try to keep it under control yeah you just can't ignore it but 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 it happened you know it's not that you'll ever stomp it out because you won't stomp it out but there's some people that thrive on it you even see bullying among animals baby chickens you put baby chickens together one of them gets, if they're, say, all white, one of them gets a little black spot of dirt on his, his feathers. The others will peck at that spot. And if they draw blood eventually, it's quite possible. It's, it's very not uh, unusual for them to kill that one just because they just won't let him alone. So, you know, it's people are kind of like it too. Maybe, maybe with hormones, we just get it over with quicker. Upon reaching the school board office, Mr. Covey did inform us that his discussion with the superintendent would be private <laughs> and that we could not bring in a camera. He's what? So he just says hi to Barb and then heads on into his meeting. Most of Mr. Covey's day is spent in meetings, one or several every day. They're either at the board office or they could be at the high school, just spent with the normal faculty. Before we had the chance to talk to Mr. Covey again, he had run off to another meeting. So we used this opportunity to interview Dr. Susan Myers of USD 409. It comes in and we need to deal with it immediately. Mm -hmm. Or within, you know, within 24 hours. But it wasn't part of our agenda that day. So what is your day like up here? Oh, wow. What do I do? <laughs> I do something every second of the day. And it's, really? it's, it's communication. 
uh, communication, prioritization, and planning. Because when you look at the structure of a school district, you know, you have your school board setting policy. It's my job to implement policy. Mm -hmm. Policy deals with everything from what we serve for lunches to what we do for employment decisions to what we do on the business side of health insurance. Mm -hmm. So what I do every day is work to implement board policies and deal with the day-to-day -day administration of the school district in all those, in all sure those pods. Is. This computer is a whole new world for superintendents or really anyone in management mm -hmm. because of the immediacy of communication through email, through the cell phone, mm -hmm. through text messaging, and through this and through this phone right here. There mm -hmm. is many times where I could be talking literally out of here and here. The phone will ring. If they can't get me here, they call me here. People expect immediate answers now. Mm -hmm. And yeah, with even within 24 hours is, is too much. And that's what I try to work with our principals and with our teachers. Because mm -hmm. we're in a people business. And, and it's kind of hard when it's mainly just one person doing it. Because... Well, you know, it's just not me. We have a whole team. We have a whole mm -hmm. team from the yeah. central office to the, to the building administrators down to the teachers. But it's kind of like, I consider my job in a lot of ways of being like the airport controller. Really? Right. Air traffic control officer. Interesting to, way to put her job, but in many ways, correct. After Mr. Covey was done, he asked okay. us to help him out with the paperwork for his Perkins grant. Um, yeah. Not the funnest job, but a very productive one. Most of Mr. Covey's days are spent behind closed doors conversations and meetings that we can't see for the privacy of the students in the factory. While arriving at the high school, Mr. Covey is greeted by Miss Hansen, an assistant principal at his high school. While he was gone, she had to take care of a behavior problem between a student and a faculty. In the next hour, Mr. Covey had to spend his time in a meeting with Ms. Hansen and other administrators. You want to be on camera? No. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. We spent this time getting to know the office staff at Atchison Mrs. High School. Wood. They are the unsung heroes of our school. They keep the machine well oiled and running. Oh gosh. The office serves as a highway of information, needing things to be done and people to be pleased. The office staff works day and night to keep everyone happy and everything in its place. Without them, the school would be in chaos and disarray. They take care of the tasks that Mr. Covey might not be able to take care of during his busy day. And most importantly, help him keep his sanity. Mr. Covey was unavailable for longer than we expected, so we had time to sit down with Athletic Director at Atchison High School, Mr. Fitz. Well, my role is quite a bit in, in that regard. Number one, uh, I'm the person who's in charge of setting up the activity calendar for the high school. Uh, and that means scheduling events, and we do that usually a year prior or two years prior to those events. Uh, I work with, with uh, discipline, uh, uh, referrals that do come into the office. Uh, I also work with eligibility in that regards too, and say who can uh, participate, who cannot participate, those types of things. Each one of us split up different groups. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if one of us is not here, the other ones will then take their take role. Over. Right. Okay. And if you feel that there's ways that you can improve on that discipline, if, you, if there's a way that you can help her to prevent it, because mm -hmm. that's part yeah. of our job. Number one, working with the kids on an individual basis. Our job is to keep them out of the office. We don't want them here. Our interview was cut short now that Mr. Covey was available, so we spent time sitting down with him and reconciled a bank statement with Mrs. Hill, the secretary. Mr. Covey's main jobs at the high school is being communicator with faculty, administrators, and parents, and also being a head decision maker at the high school. Yes, ma'am. 
Mr. Covey had to wa run off once again to work on something else, so we had time to talk to the school psychologist, Ms. Stowell, about what she does every day. Um, my main job is dealing with special education. Um, kind of the, the, the role of the school psychologist is changing a little bit. Um, what we have previously done has been in charge of kind of the testing and gathering all the information to determine if, yeah to determine if kids are eligible for special services special education services we then asked her how she helps makes mr covey's job easier because special ed has a lot of different um rules of its own about how you can discipline students that are on an iep mm -hmm. so yeah a lot yeah. of times he'll he'll ask me you know what do we need to do about this we've realized mr covey relies on a lot of people to help him do his everyday jobs including his loving wife, even bringing him lunch. We had time for one more interview today, an interview with the other assistant principal, Mrs. Hansen. <laughs> well, my typical job description is I do discipline. I do a third of the discipline. So mm -hmm. right now we've split it up to where I work with freshmen. When all three of us are here, I do all the freshmen. Mm -hmm. If one of us is gone, we kind of take over the responsibilities of the other principal. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much it's kind of like a jack of all trades. You know, when things come at you, it's, you're kind of responsible for pretty much anything. So when the counselors are both gone, I kind of become a counselor. When the nurse Super. is gone, you kind of become a nurse. Yeah. So kind of it's like, you got to be ready for anything. But my main my main job is attendance, discipline, and curriculum and technology. Really, we just we all assist each other. We just you know when Mr. Covey's gone, we take on his you know uh, kids and um, you know we just pretty much all help each other out. And we, we all talk. We talk all the time, uh, and that's really good. Our day was coming to an end, so we had one more question for Mr. Covey. His view on angry parents and bitter students. Do you ever feel like the world is against you sometimes? No, because I don't take it personal. You don't? No. Okay. Um, I have a position, and because I have a position, people, um, I'm the person that makes decisions. Mm -hmm. I'm the person that has answers. Mm -hmm. And so they come to me for usually one of those two things. They want a decision or they want an answer. And so, uh, and I realize that. And people that are mad are usually not mad at me personally. And if they are, they'll get over it. I won't say that I've never made a mistake also. And so, you know, sometimes I have to go back and reevaluate what I've done. Because I try very, very hard to be fair and I try to be consistent. Today, we learned Mr. Covey really does do a lot for our school, but we realize he can't do it alone. He needs a reliable staff of teachers, faculty, administrators, and friends. He needs the support to successfully run the high school as our principal and as our friend.